A section of MacArthur Park will be shut down for the next several weeks starting tonight. Mario Ramirez has more on the project and the effort to relocate the unhoused. I was in the newspaper with uh, my friend. It became painful, so I stopped about a year ago. He's known as John the Merciful on the streets of L.A., where he's been unhoused for over three years, two of them spent in a wheelchair. The has been it's a little bit better. You get a lot of uh, services, like as long as you have the toilets, so you have showers, you have laundry, food. John, who's been offered a temporary motel room through the city's Project Room Key, is among the few unhoused remaining at MacArthur Park ahead of tonight's closure. Well, you're not going to take it? Yeah, but I'm going to take my time to uh, get it. Those hotel rooms, you, give up, you have to give up a little bit of your freedom. You have to be there at a certain hour. You can't have a beer. Well, they want this. That's part of the rules. The park south of Wilshire will remain closed for 10 weeks while the city adds landscaping, paints, and makes electrical and lighting repairs delayed during the pandemic. I support the, car, the park being cleaned up, but at the same time, you know, I understand that there's an issue with the homeless people here. It's not right. Some people ain't got a place to go. Who's going to enjoy the park? I'm a Vietnam vet, and if anybody got a right to be in a park, it's somebody like me. And you're going to give me a ticket? I didn't serve my country. Councilmember Gil Cedillo, whose district contains the park, says as of Wednesday, 257 people have been moved indoors. Path, LASA, my office, all the groups who are working with uh, the homeless and making sure that every placement is, is successful. We're really proud of them. With signs like this, the unhoused here at MacArthur Park were given 17 days notice before tonight's closure, and the city says it's already started citing people here in the park overnight, and they plan to do that into 2022 when the park officially reopens. Reporting in Westlake, I'm Mario Ramirez, Fox 11 News.